In July, I talked about the BQ-B1 and now they have added a brand new 3D printer to their list. This one sounds even better than the one before. Behold the BX from BQ. Getting the latest news and updates right here on Sakari's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Sakari and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notifications button to get the latest videos right in your alerts. And thanks for being here. A little more than two months ago, I talked about the B1 from Big Q or Big 3 Tech. And now here we are, the BX from Big Q or BQ. The people at BQ are working really hard and pushing more 3D printers and other 3D printer related materials out of their warehouses. Well, not surprisingly, because Creality, Elegoo and Anycubic are also not standing still and they are running at a very fast pace. Well, BQ is not releasing several brand new 3D printers at one time. No, they spread it over multiple weeks or multiple months. And those 3D printers are looking really good. We had the B1 in July and now we have the BQ coming up very soon. Well, they are going to use a crowdfunding campaign to start right off. Well, it's not so very bad because Creality did it also with the CR6SC in June and look at them right now. They are sending out the CR6SE as we speak. I got some really great feedback about the B1 from Big Q or BQ. I wish I could also make some videos about the B1 but I don't have this 3D printer. I need to pay my bills before I pay for some extras. But if you have to be one, please share some awesomeness about this printer right in the comments. Before I'm going to continue with this video, a little disclaimer. All the specs I use in my script and the pictures I'm sharing in this video are from BQ's website and or ogadget.com and from the Facebook page. Now that is out of the way, let's get into the BX from Big Q. If you take a look at the site ogadget.com, I will put the link in the description of this video, then you will notice that this printer looks small, but it isn't. Because on this printer, there is a huge LCD touch screen of 7 inches. Well, the frame is made out of 2040, 2020 and 3030 aluminum extrusions. On both sides of the Z-axis frame there are two 2040s and on top extrusion of 2020 with a smooth surface which looks like carbon. On the top you have a filament spool holder. Because this 3D printer is a direct drive 3D printer, the placement of the spool holder is on top and it's very logical. For the X and Y axis, there's a knob to tension the belts a bit more if it is needed. Just like the B1, the 3D printer has a power supply unit under the Y axis frame, which makes this 3D printer very elegant and clean to look at. The electronics, like the mainboard in this case, is in the front of the 3D printer. And it looks like this 3D printer has a normal SD card slot on the front side. The wider base of the Y axis makes this 3D printing much more stable and less artifacts 
within your 3D prints. I do see blue springs by the heat bed, which looks like the yellow springs, but then the blue version. And also bigger leveling knobs like the B1. BQ uses flexible BQ SSS surface to print on, which stands for Super Spring Steel. BQ uses for the Z axis a dual stepper motor setup in combination with a timing belt on top of the BX 3D printer. Did they hear my remark about adding a second stepper motor from my last video about the B1? The heart of this brand new 3D printer is a new 32-bit 400 megahertz chip, which makes this 3D printer more capable of more complex 3D printing. Adding more safety features to this 3D printer, like reverse plug protection, heat overload, real-time monitoring of the power supply voltage. The direct drive extruder. This extruder is very light in weight. It weighs only 219 grams. It's an all metal extruder with a 7 to 1 ratio torque transmission ensures a great printing performance. Most 3D printer come with a stepper motor of 1.8 degree, but this 3D printer of BX comes with a 0.9 degree stepper drivers, ensuring more precision and better print quality. The firmware on the BX is open source and highly expandable. New firmware codes are upgraded regularly on GitHub. This printer can operate in three modes, Marlin mode, uh, the big 3Tech touch screen mode, and the plug and print Raspberry Pi firmware expansion, Octoprint, which makes this 3D printer the world's first laptop-free Octoprint integrated 3D printer. The printing volume of this 3D printer is 250 times 250 times 250 millimeters. The printing speed is 100 millimeters per second. The print accuracy is 0.1 millimeters. It has a power loss recovery, one cable extruder to board solution, and a proximity sensor for auto leveling. Seven inches HD touchscreen. This 3D printer handles PLA, PTEG, ABS, TPU, and even nylon. This printer is very silent in printing and it has a meanwhile 24 volts, 350 watts power supply unit. The possible expansions, filament breaking and blocking detection module, Wi-Fi printing module and a reserve CAN bus interface. This BX from BigQ is going to be live pretty soon on the crowdfunding page of ogadget.com with a super early bird price of 249 US dollars. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Before I'm going to wrap up this video, I want to point out that I'm selling merch like shirts, t-shirts, hoodies, caps, you name it. I have it on Teespring and also Streamlab. I'm selling those merch to support my channel in buying some new equipment and also new 3D printers for the channel. So check out those two links and thanks for your support. To wrap up this video, when I said in my last video about the B1 being the answer to the CR6 SE, I was not wrong. But this BX is going to be is going to compete even more with the other brands. Some brands can really learn from that. With a large printing volume of 250 times 250 times 250 and a direct drive extruder, this is going to be a very pleasant to print with. More precision and better handling. This is going to be amazing. Maybe some little adjustments needs to be made, but this printer is ready to go. This video is 
supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony and Shannon. Thank you for your support. You can also join by supporting this channel. Check the link in the description of this video. If you made it this far in this video, thank you, you are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sahri 3D Prints. Bye bye.